You think you're safe with your index funds? What if I told you 11% of your portfolio is betting on just one company? All right, here's something that might surprise you. You've probably invested in a few different index funds or ETFs, like Vanguard's popular ETF options, VTI, VOO, or VGT. You feel good about it, right? After all, when you're investing in ETFs or index funds, you're spreading your money across hundreds, maybe even thousands of companies. It seems like the perfect strategy for investing for beginners, doesn't it? But here's the thing. A big chunk of your investment might actually be tied up in just one company. If you are intrigued so far, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified so you don't miss out. Let's dive back in. It sounds like a solid strategy with ETFs, but there's more to it. These Vanguard ETFs and index funds are famous for their low fees and great performance, which is why they're so appealing, especially for those new to ETFs and investing for beginners. They give you access to the total stock market, the S&P 500 or tech-heavy companies, making it feel like you've covered all your bases with ETFs. But what if I told you that owning these three index funds doesn't mean you're as diversified as you think? You see, many of the same companies are hiding in each of these ETFs. So, while you think you're spreading your risk by investing in index funds, you're actually doubling or even tripling down on the same companies. For example, Apple, one of the largest companies in the world, makes up over 11% of the total value across these three Vanguard index funds. That's a significant portion of your money tied up in just one company, even though you own thousands of stocks in total. So instead of being spread across tons of companies, a big part of your portfolio is relying on just a few. If you're new to investing for beginners, this might sound confusing at first, but it's a common mistake people make with index funds. Understanding where your money is actually going in these funds is crucial, especially when you're just starting to invest. We'll dive deeper into why this overlap happens and what you can do to make sure your portfolio is truly diversified, even if you're using index funds. This may sound confusing at first, but it's actually pretty simple once you see how it works. What does this mean for your investments, and what can you do to make sure you're not too dependent on just a few companies? In the next, we'll dive deeper into how this overlap can affect your portfolio, and more importantly, how you can fix it. So why is this overlap a big deal? Well, think about it like this. If you're holding multiple ETFs and they all own the same big companies, you're not as spread out as you think. You might be thinking, okay, but is that really a problem? Let me explain why it can be. Let's take Vanguard's total stock market ETF, VTI, and the S&P 500 ETF, VOO, as an example, VTI, is supposed to give you access to the entire U.S. stock market, big companies, small companies, and everything in between. Meanwhile, VOO focuses just on the top 500 companies. So you might feel like you're covered across the board, right? But here's what's really happening. Nearly all of the companies in VOO are already inside VTI. That's right, 99% of VOO's companies are in VTI. That means if you're investing in both, you're doubling up on the same companies. The extra stocks in VTY? They don't make up much of the weight. Most of your money is still tied up in the big companies that make up VOO. But here's where things get even trickier. It's not just about how many companies you own, it's about how much weight those companies hold. For example, Apple makes up over 6% of both VTI and VOO. So even though you've got thousands of stocks in these ETFs, the big players, like Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon, are still holding the most weight. Why does this matter? If those big companies start struggling, your whole portfolio can take a hit. You might think you're protected because you own a lot of different stocks, but in reality, most of your money is still relying on the success of just a few companies. I'll show you how to check for this overlap in your portfolio and what steps you can take to avoid putting too much faith in a few big companies. Now that we've talked about why overlap can be a problem, let's dive into how you can actually check for it in your own portfolio. It's not as complicated as it sounds, and once you know where to look, you'll be able to spot it quickly. First, there's a tool you can use called ETFRC.com. This tool lets you compare different ETFs and see how much overlap there is between them. Let's say you own both VTI and VOO, two of Vanguard's most popular ETFs. You can plug them into the tool, and it'll show you exactly how much of your money is tied up in the same stocks. 
What you'll likely find is that the overlap by weight between VTI and VOO is about 86%. That means 86% of your money is invested in the same companies, even though you thought you were spreading it out between thousands of stocks. It's eye-opening when you see it laid out like that, and it makes you realize that just because you own different funds doesn't mean you're actually diversified. Next, let's look at VGT, which focuses on tech companies. If you own both VTI and VGT, you'll see that around 98% of VGT's stocks are already in VTI. But here's the kicker. The overlap by weight is only 26%. Why? Because VGT is heavily concentrated in just a few companies, mainly Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. So what does that mean for you? It means that even though you've got exposure to tech in both ETFs, the weight of those companies varies. This might not be a problem if you're comfortable with having a lot of your money in tech, but it's something you should know before you blindly invest in multiple funds. Understanding this overlap helps you avoid putting too much money into just a few companies without realizing it. But what should you do next? How you can make smarter investment choices to truly diversify your portfolio. Now that you know how to spot overlap, let's talk about how to fix it and make sure your investments are truly diversified. The good news? It's simpler than you think. You don't need to start over, you just need to make some adjustments. First, take a look at the ETFs you own. Are there two or three that have a lot of overlap? For example, if you're holding both VTI and VOO, ask yourself if you really need both. Since VTI already includes the top 500 companies that VOO holds, it might make more sense to stick with just one of them. If you want exposure to the entire U.S. stock market, including smaller companies that might grow over time, VTI is a solid choice. But if you're more interested in focusing on the big names that drive the majority of the market, VOO might be a better fit. The point is, you don't need both to achieve your goal. Now, what if you also hold a sector-specific ETF like VGT? Again, take a look at how much weight you have in tech companies across all your funds. If tech makes up a big portion of your portfolio and you're okay with that, great. But if you're worried about being too concentrated in one sector, you might want to consider adding ETFs that focus on other areas, like healthcare or energy. This can help balance out your exposure. Here's the key. Instead of loading up on multiple ETFs that hold the same stocks, try diversifying into funds that focus on different sectors, regions, or types of companies, like small cap or mid cap. That way, you're not just relying on the same handful of companies to drive your returns. So, here's what you can do right now. Take a look at your portfolio, use a tool like ETFRC.com to check for overlap, and make some smart changes to ensure you're spreading your money across truly different investments. It's all about balance, and by doing this, you'll reduce your risk and improve your chances of long-term growth. Now that you've got the tools to fix this common mistake, take a few minutes to review your portfolio. One big question I get all the time is this. I don't have any extra money to invest. I always ask, what's your budget looking like? Seven times out of 10 people say, I just make sure I have enough money for my bills in my checking account. I tell them to watch this video and make a budget and come back to me when you find all that extra money you just found. Check out my budgeting video and find your extra money for investing. And don't forget to drop a comment if you found this helpful or if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe for more tips on growing and protecting your investments.